In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate Maya paint effects and then export that animation with an alpha channel. So that way you can use them in projects like Adobe Premiere to do special effects or other things that you want to do with the content. So first, you need to make sure that the paint effects are renderable in Arnold in Maya. If you haven't changed that to polygons or changed the shaders, please look at the previous video so you can update the colors and the shaders so everything looks great in the Maya Arnold rendering. Next, we need to hide our sky dome light. So I have a sky dome light here. And then if I click on the attribute editor, we can see that down here under visibility, we have camera zero. If I turn camera one, this is the default, then we'll see the light. But if I go down to camera zero, then the Arnold sky dome light won't be seen. I still see it in the viewport and I can turn that off as well, but we just don't want to see it in the render. So then we have to go to stroke Dahlia red. So there's a lot of attributes here. The simplest one is if we go to the end bounds, notice that if I change the min clip, the flowers change. So just at the beginning, I can right click set key on this and then on max clip, right click set key but instead of having it one i can have it be zero so if i drag this slider back and i make set key max clip zero at frame one then i say go to frame 90 and then i increase the max clip and then i right click set key notice now as i play through the playhead the flowers appear so there's this animation that's happening and then you can even have the min clip follow so we can have it start max clip going like this and then we can get out to maybe frame 30 and then i can set another key for min clip and then we can go all the way out to frame 90 and i'll make min clip be one and right click set key so now the flowers start with nothing then they come in but then they start to disappear as well so there's many, many ways that you can adjust those. I think here I'm gonna have that min clip not quite reach zero. So I think I'm gonna bring this down so it slows down a little bit and I'm gonna set a key right there. So now we have it slowly starting to move and then they all disappear. You can change the seed. So this is the randomness of the flowers that get drawn. You can change the surface offset. So if you want them to be raised up or down, so you could have them floating, you could even make this have some noise so the flowers rotate up and down. That could be a lot of fun. Then you can go to the Dahlia Red right here, and there's all kinds of things such as twist. So twist is the twisting of the flowers. So we can have this be set as a keyframe. So we can go back to frame one, right click, set key, then we can go to frame 90 and we can decide what our twist is going to be. Let's do a twist of one. Right click, set key. Now, as you can see, the dahlia are twisting as they go across. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the resolution gate so I can see what I'm going to get with the camera because I wanna make sure everything stays in frame. I think I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Not too much. Put that first one over on the right click on the dahlia click off and then we'll click on that stroke again and we're on dahlia red so then you can do the twist rate so if you want them to twist super fast right so there's super spinning that's kind of fun and then you can also change the randomness of the twist we can put forces so under tubes then behavior so here under turbulence you can turn the turbulence to uh, grass wind and so now you're going to see that they're kind of blowing and then you can turn that turbulence up to be really really strong so now the dahlia they're fighting they're fighting as they go across so that could be a really fun thing and this is keyframeable so we could have the turbulence be zero in the beginning right click set key and then we can have the turbulence be really high in the middle so there's like this gale force wind, right click, set key. And then we can go back down to frame 90 when our animation will end and turn the turbulence back down to zero, right click, set key. So now if we play this, 
Suddenly the dahlia have to fight the turbulence and then it dies off. And of course there's bend, so you can change how much the dahlia are bending, right? So you can have them bend all the way down to the ground either way. So that, that can be really fun. All these are key frameable. So I'm going to put the bend back to zero. So here in creation, under tubes creation, you can have how many tubes per step. So if you want to have them uh, really increase a lot, uh, you can go really increase the polygons to be uh, very crazy. So we can increase that. We can also increase the length max. So we can have this start down at the beginning. We can have our length max be set, set key. And then when we get to the middle, we can have our length max. We can have our dahlia go way up out of the screen, set key. And then we can get to frame 90 and then put it back down to zero. Right click, set key. Or actually, we want to get back down to 0.68 and then right click, set key. So now we have our dahlia go and then they grow up super tall and then they come back down. So that can be a lot of fun too. I'm actually going to have it be not so tall in the middle there. So right here where it's red, that's our actual key. So I'm going to bring this just so it stays in frame. Right click, set key. So there are so many different things you can do. You can change how wide the different pieces are, the tube width, so you can have them be wider. So here you can see the stems are getting super wide or super skinny. All kinds of really nice things that are all keyframable so you can animate them. And then once you're happy with what you have, then you can make sure all your render settings are correct. So go to render settings, and then you want to make sure that you have frame animation name and extension. Remember, it's name single frame by default. So select this one and then make sure you set your start frame and your end frame and then choose your resolution. I'm using HD 540, which is the default because I don't need it to be high res because I'm just going to use it as a small element in my project. But if you needed it to be a higher res element, you can go ahead and click HD 1080 and it'll make that 1080p. And then you just go ahead and click the eyeball and then you select render, render sequence. Then you can make an alternative file location. So you can select and then inside create a folder and then you can call it Dahlia. And then select and then render sequence. And then this will go ahead and render out frames one to 90 for you. Hopefully this allows you to make animated paint effects in Maya, then change the different settings so they animate across time and then export it with an alpha channel so you can import it to the rendering or video editing program of your choice. Happy 3D modeling with flowers.